when when we've got that CD in my hands, you know, I I I I I, I always sit down. This at my at my at my I've got my contemplation room at my dad's house where I always go because I love the stereo he's got there, and I, I sit in front of it and I I put the CD on. I just blasted it in my face and. And yeah, very emotional because mm -hmm. it, it represented so much. Because the whole thing could have just fallen away, we could have put it to bed, but um, we, the band was still standing, the, the project was still going. Um, and no matter what, who we got in involved, um, member-wise, I think what it had to become was it had to become an idea. New device had to become a project, yep. um, which was an idea uh, based around. Um, self determination, I think, to the fact that you, you know, you, uh, you can be what you want to be. It became a very positive message. Uh, I, I've never been. I, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Um, I don't. I don't smoke. I'm, I'm very. I'm very health conscious. Uh, but I'm also into taking care of my mind and how I think. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe in people. So it's. Um, but, but in a very, very strong way. Not in a. You know. Yeah, peace, Wendy. Sort of like you know, <laughs> hippie way. But but I, I really do believe in people, and I believe in. Um, you strike me as a spiritual person. I think so. I mean, I, I used to, I think I think you know I, I used to be maybe religious. I, I, I left the church um, when I was uh, when I was eighteen mm -hmm. um, because it, it just couldn't answer an awful lot of questions. I was asking questions, and then I was getting different answers from all different yep. teachers who I respected, and I, I still respect these a lot of these men and women, but. It was all different, and what I realised is what the the life for me. I had to work it out for myself, and whatever my relationship with God was, um, that had to be on a very personal level. Um, so um, my 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 kind of connection with the universe is 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 very is very personal, and I'm I'm always about bettering myself, and um, I, I slip up time and time again. Life throws an awful lot of stuff at you, mm -hmm. um, but it's about the lessons that you take from that, and I think that I like to think that comes across in my music. Um, is that it's, it's, a, it's a very personal uh, journey and but I think everyone's on a, in a very personal journey so people can take whatever they want um, from, from, from this I don't mean to be too cryptic with my, my writing but I, I don't like it to be this is what it is you can't interpret <laughs> it as anything else recently I, I put up it was, I was very overwhelmed actually um, talking about the new record um, I, I put up just a, a couple of verses and a couple of choruses of this new song off of the new record called Back to You. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, it was, I was just sitting there with my guitar, I thought I'll put up a video um, of this thing, uh, it's a little you know, uh, teaser sort of thing. And, um, and people went, people, the, the amount of personal messages I received, and not just like on the, on the wall, you know, comments and everything, oh, this is really cool. But actually people really resonating with them on a very personal level. And it was great for me because um, it's a ballad, and uh, and it was about someone who was very special in my life, and um, uh, they did something really awful to me, and it's, the song's now bullshit. So uh, <laughs> someone can now uh, actually uh, um, find if they can now find other people can now find uh, meaning like in it. That's, that's one. That's theirs. Yeah, and yeah. Um, we've had that. We've had that um, all the way across. Um, all the way across, uh, uh, well, I've had that all the way across my career, and, uh, and that for me is the biggest privilege a musician can have. It's not about you know uh, the royalties you get in. It's not about you know the. It's not about the uh, how many, how big the crowds you play to. It's about those. It's about those precious gems that someone has. Someone comes to you and says, "That song, you've got me." Every mm. song that we that you love is is a song that. Um, that that gave yourself back to you. It it, it was like a mirror image. It, there, there was part. It's like yes, there is an understanding between the artist and you saying what I can't express, and that's what um, and that's what I try to do. I try to express myself as best I can, and then invariably, if you do it well. I've, re I've written a whole load of tripe in my time. I could show you the list. <laughs> I've written hundreds, hundreds of songs. And it's like you know, there's a few. Only a few um, of these babies actually make it to adulthood, so mm -hmm. to speak. And um, uh, but when when you get it right, um, it's it's a wonderful thing, really wonderful thing. And you had quite an, uh, an emotional concert just recently, didn't you? The um, the Taking Over London album. 
I say recently, that, that, was, that was almost a year was ago. Was it? It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. It's <laughs> terrifying how fast uh, it's like, But from, from when we played the show, it was recorded live. Um, yep. we, did, we did the whole of our first album, uh, five year anniversary, we did it uh, all the way through, which is quite a challenge in itself. Did it all the way through, and then we, um, uh, we released it uh, very recently, and that was an emotional, that was an emotional um, um, gig to play. Uh, very special, wonderful night. I remember doing the, the, the review for Metal Talk, yeah. and uh, I said at the time, yes, it was it, the emotion that came over in the, in, in, during the gig was absolutely amazing, and it's captured. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that's, that's on great. the album. Yeah, and someone did uh, the inlay uh, photos. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, so, uh, I'll, 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 I'll plug him <laughs> on this one. <laughs> so, uh, I was going to say, actually. It's quite a brave thing to do a live album because I mean mm. there's no hiding in an environment like this. Yeah. Um, there's no retakes. There's nothing like that. No. It, it is what it is, warts and all, and I think that's amazingly brave. Yeah, I, 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 it was. I think if it hadn't have turned out so well, we wouldn't have released <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we did. We 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 rehearsed it mm. um, so heavily. Um, we really wanted to get it right. It really meant a lot to us, and we um, we really did put a lot of effort into that, to that the recording of that uh, album and that show, uh, because it was all encompassing. It was it mm -hmm. was a celebration, so we wanted to have a good time with it and everything else. Uh, but it was it was it was a real yeah, you know, it was a real landmark as to to where we you know where we'd come from. And five years, five years is uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it does fly by, and it, and and the album has also has the very um, honest part of it. Well, I've got to say, you'll probably disagree with me here, where you, where you, you quietly put Nick back at his place. Did I? <laughs> the bass player. It was very funny. He plays the bass. <laughs> he started taking over, talking to the crowd, and you quite quietly put him back. And Nick. I thought I just it puts a smile on my face every time I hear it. I think, I think Nick. I think I think Nick. Uh, in another life, Nick should have been a front man. Like, yeah, I think he should have been. A front he's a lovely man. guy. He's wonderful. <laughs> he's, uh, he's six foot seven, and uh, yeah, covered in tattoos. Covered in tattoos, and, <laughs> and he, just, he just loves it. He's, he's fantastic. Great guy. He's really plays the trumpet, plays the guitar. Uh, ridiculously talented. Yeah. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't hate a bassist? <laughs> So, uh, what's the future with New Device? Uh, the future, I think, what we really want to do is um, is complete this vision uh, of what we set out at the beginning of the beginning of this year, uh, the end of two thousand and fourteen. I we were very frustrated. We were a very frustrated band. Um, we didn't put the fire underneath ourselves. If any band out there that's feeling frustrated, just this is a side note, whatever. Set your own deadlines. Set your own deadlines and set your own visions. Um, without a doubt, it's been the only thing that's, that really gets anyone doing anything. Is that you create your vision, and that's what we had to do. Um, we were so frustrated. Nothing was happening. Nothing was moving. We were just kind of turning up to rehearsals, playing the same old songs that we had always played, and we were waiting on other people's decisions for us. And take back, uh, you know to quote Rage Against the Machine, take the power back for yourselves and actually move forward in the way you want to go. What we wanted to do was something very different. And the ideas will start bouncing. If you're in a band, you're creative guys. Get creative with each other. Think of new things. The the, the industry and the world online is it's it's such a state now where you have to remain at least on the curve or ahead of the curve uh, and th keep thinking simply because everything changes so fast. It's all get getting to that sort of singularity point where everything's going to be just mm. moving at such a speed that no one's going to be able to keep up. So while you can, think, 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 think and get creative with it. Think of new ways to do things and, and stop thinking how the old men who are running this this uh, this messed up industry are thinking because they don't know what's going on they're messing it up for everyone and the only people that is really going to save it is people with good ideas um, that, that are doing it for themselves and they're doing it for the, the fans that actually love them um, and what we wanted to do was do something pretty different we're releasing four records over the next 12 months and um, and they're all kind of interlinked uh, first one was taking over London 
the the second instalment, which is our acoustic record, which will have to be released after our pledge campaign is released, um, and then our the the um, the the pledge release, which is um, called uh, Devils on the Run, and um, and then we have a, we're writing another record now, and they're all interlinked with um, with one progressive piece of artwork, and. Uh, progressive ideas going through through the through the lot of them. We really want to showcase what, what we're about as a band, and um, and keep people interested, keep people entertained, mm -hmm. and and we we really just want to show what we're about and what we can do, and and it's a big task. It's a big task. I you know we've had we've had a lot of resistance uh, from from our, our record label about doing it this way, and a lot of resistance from a lot of. Uh, Nay, just naysayers, and I think that you're going to get a lot of that. You're going to get a lot of that if it's, especially if it's something that hasn't been done before. I've never seen any band do something quite like this, um, in, in on such a such a scale, mm -hmm. releasing four records um, in such quick succession. And but it, it it's done in a way which allows us to stay creative uh, and not churn out shit, basically, because you know when we're doing EPs, um, we're not doing albums, so we can release six tracks as opposed to say 14 so you're not going to get the dead wood yeah. in it everything that's in there we're so pleased with like so like vibrantly passionate about it has to um we you know we really want all the the best material going out to, to everyone brilliant so, brilliant yeah very excellent. excited about the whole thing excellent excellent and you can guarantee that you're going to read about it on Metal Talk. There you go, I got my plug in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's brilliant, Daniel. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you. And good luck for the future. Take care of yourself. Bye, guys. guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.